On today's Fast Friday, I'm gonna show you how to move the ISO settings to the front command dial. Fuji makes this kind of confusing. Hi everyone and welcome to pal to tech I got a question from a viewer just a few days ago asking how can I move it so that I can control the ISO of the camera just by using the front command dial. In other words, I want to move the ability to control the ISO from here to the front command dial. Well, you would think that the command dial is a button like everything else, and to set that, you would simply go and press DISP back, and then just scroll down. The command dial is one of those odd buttons that is not on this list of being able to assign a custom setting to. And so a lot of people don't even know that you can assign some functions to this command dial. Okay, so there's three settings you need to make in order to get this to work. First, go into the little wrench and into where it says button dial setting. Scroll down to the bottom of the first page and you will see an entry for ISO dial setting and it will probably be set to auto. This is the behavior for when you have the ISO button in auto like that, so you have it in auto, then that will enable the camera to allow you to choose one of the three ISO auto settings right here. Okay, so that is the normal behavior of the camera. And I actually made a video that talks all about the automatic ISO settings on the Fujifilm camera. I will have a link to that down below. In the meantime, you actually want to take that out of auto and instead put it in command. Okay, so the second thing you need to do is rotate the ISO dial so that it is in the A position. Lastly, you need to press and hold down the front command dial. Just press it in and hold it down and you will see this screen appear right here. Scroll down to number three where it says ISO and select ISO by pressing menu OK. Boom, you're done. In other words, I've now assigned the ISO settings to the front command dial. Now, if you go to rotate, you will see the ISO settings change. You see that? If you want to put it back to how it was, that's real simple. Go back to your menu, drop into here, button dial setting, and put it back to auto, then at that point, it will function just like it did when the camera was first purchased. I hope that's been helpful for you. I did receive a question from a viewer, and I would like to thank E. Kelly for submitting that question. Great point. It is confusing. What are you gonna do, <laughs> right? Well, that about wraps it up for Fast Friday. If you thought this video was helpful or if you liked it at all, give it the like and subscribe, and I'll see you in a video next week. Take care.